Hi everyone, I'm Nikki Cosplay, and this is my 2015 Katsukan review. Yay. So, the first main question is, can you Katsu can, or can you Katsu can't? I definitely Katsu did. I Katsu can I did. Okay. Alright. So, uh, let me just... Let me just go over like what I did that weekend and stuff. It's kind of like a vlog, I guess, instead of a review, but whatever. Okay, so I went down Thursday. We drove down. Got there around like 10 o'clock. Didn't really do much, we just kind of unpacked. Got comfy, you know, Thursday. No one really does anything on a Thursday at CosplayCon. Well, I mean, this year, people actually like were in cosplay, like legitimate cosplay on Thursday. And like, props to you guys, but I don't have the energy for that, like ever. Okay, um, so... Friday, I cosplayed from Saki Zo. I did coffee, and let me tell you, this was one of my absolute favorite cosplays. Uh, it is completely new. I made it just for KatsuCon, and I worked really hard on it with a lot of help from my best friend and my waifu, Princess Jello Cosplay. And she helped me make a lot of it, helped me design it, because she's, she's the brains and I'm the brawn. <laughs> Anyway, um, so that was really fun to wear. I felt really pretty in it and everyone loved it and it was really cool. <laughs> I'll link some photos or show some photos or whatever. Uh, that was that and she cosplayed with me as Darjeeling Tea and she was like my husband doe for the day. Well, for my life. Anyway, um, so that was Friday. So on Friday, I met this cool dude called the Real Tea Dragon and he uh, asked me to do a lip dub with him and I've never done a lip dub in my life before because uh, I don't know, I'm just, I've, never, I've never done it and I thought what better a day to do than on Valentine's Day do a lip dub to Hercules' I Won't Say I'm In Love. I mean, come on. Uh, anyway, um, so I did that and it was actually really fun and you can totally check out the video on his channel. I'll link it down. The video was made by Realty Dragon and UV Photography. So go check that out because it's really cool and everyone in it is really cute. Anyway, okay. Alright, so, so that was during the day and then Friday night, um, me and my, my crew, my squad if you would, more commonly known as my Ohana, because you know Ohana means family, and family means no one gets left behind. So. We, uh, we made them for MAGFest, but we wore them again at KatsuCon. We made a Digimon Kigurumi. So, uh, I made Terriermon, and I made Gomamon for my brother, Neo Cosplay. And Sasha D Cosplay made... She made Gadomon and, and Gabumon for her... For her boyfriend, Donao Cosplay. So, we got to mess around in our Kigus again, which is always really fun because we just feel like such Digidork. When we were there, we also did a really concerning photo shoot with Kendra, and when we get those photos back, hopefully they're not as silly as I remember them being. Aha. So, that was really fun. That was my Friday. Okay, okay, so now it's Saturday, and Saturday I am cosplaying as a DLE from Brandy Default with, once again, my waifu, Princess Jello Cosplay, as Tiz. Also, JPEG as Rangabelle. Ring a loser. Anyway, um, so we got to some really awesome shots with Yendra, and I'll show some photos or something and then the links or whatever somehow. And it'll be really cool. You guys are gonna love them because we look really awesome, as always. And that was really fun because I love walking around with my Bravely Default family because Bravely Default is like such an awesome game, and I'm so excited for Bravely Second. If you're excited, let me know too. Okay. Okay. So then. I ended up assisting the photo shoot for Sasha D Cosplay, Denal Cosplay, and Remy. They did uh, Tron Korra, so like they did Tron inspired Legend of Korra characters of Bolin, Mako, and Korra. So I helped Lazy Cat Photography, uh, Cosplay and Photography, who is like the bae, and she's awesome and she takes awesome photos, so go, go check her out because she's awesome. Anyway. So I assisted that photo shoot now with a light stand because 
Ohana mean family, if you get my drift. Okay, so that was really fun, and I had a lot of fun assisting and watching her work, because her work is like incredible, and she's a magician, I'm not sure if she's actually from this planet, she might be an alien. Okay. Okay, so it's time for Nikki Cosplay's Top 5. Alright. So, first on my list is a cosplay pair that I've already mentioned in this video, but oh well. Uh, they did two, two really awesome cosplays this weekend, and it's Sasha D Cosplay and Denao Cosplay because they are the awesomest people ever and they are incredible craftsmanship artists. Um, they did, first they did, they did um, Skyrim. They did some really cool Skyrim like Nordic armor thing that they worked on for weeks and it looked really awesome and it's just so detailed and pretty and watching it come together was like the coolest thing ever and seeing it in person I was like emotional. Anyway, so uh, that was really cool. That's my top, my top for the weekend because armor takes a lot of work. All right, so then for the second one for that specific pair was their Tron Cora. So their Tron Cora, I don't know if y'all seen it, I'm gonna show you anyway, but it is the coolest thing ever. They literally rigged the whole thing with LEDs and it glows and it's super cool and it's like, I, I can't even, I can't even put it into them, it's just so cool. And they're like the only people who've ever done it and it's like really awesome and beautifully done and I just, ah, oh, so pretty. All right. So that's number two, kind of, it's the same person, but oh well. So then, number three is the Okami Cosplay Girl. They did like a Flareon and a Vaporeon Gajinka, and it was really beautiful. They have amazing makeup skills, and seeing it in person, I was like blown away. I was like, you guys are ridiculously gorgeous, and keep doing what you do, like A plus. Okay, so then the last one, which is technically number five, is CNC Cosplay Factory. She did a Demon Hunter from Diablo 3 and it had the most intense paint job I've ever seen on a cosplay. Like, it looked like a masterpiece. She was walking art. It, it is really incredible and uh, kudos to her because that is really amazing and you should go check it out because she's cool. Okay, all right, so that was my top five, kind of, kind of like a top three, top five-ish, okay. Alright guys, so that was my KatsuCon 2015 review. I go there, uh, We Rise Mag gets me there, and they are the awesomest people, and I love working with them and doing reviews for them, and I have some other videos you can check out on their channel, on my channel, etc., and look forward to more videos this year because I am a total video slacker, but I've just been suddenly inspired to make videos. Okay. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for watching, and check out my other videos and stuff. Mag.com